Attention Eagles fans, big news just came in. The Philadelphia Eagles could have a full squad back for the upcoming game against the Cleveland Browns, including some key players. A new injury report has just been released, and it's got everyone buzzing with excitement and high expectations. But will everyone be ready for this showdown? Stick around, and I'll break down all the details for you. But before we dive in, take a moment to check if you're already subscribed to the channel. Join our exclusive community and never miss out on any breaking news about the Philadelphia Eagles. Stay informed every single day. Now, back to the news. The Philadelphia Eagles released their second official injury report ahead of this week's home game against the Cleveland Browns. The good news is that seven players were listed as full participants in practice. A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith, Lane Johnson, Reed Blankenship, Johnny Wilson, Sidney Brown, and Inea Smith. This means that all of them have a good chance of being 100% ready on Sunday, which is definitely a relief for the coaching staff and fans alike. Among those, the returns of Lane Johnson and Devonta Smith stand out, as both have been cleared after going through concussion protocol. A.J. Brown also showed up on the report with a hamstring injury, but he participated in all activities normally. As for safety Sidney Brown, he was listed and there's a chance he could be activated from the injured reserve list before the game. On the flip side, linebacker Nako Dean remains a concern. He was listed again as a limited participant due to an ankle injury. However, Dean has already stated that he's feeling good and plans to play on Sunday. That's a positive sign for the Eagles' defense, as Dean is a crucial piece in the defensive scheme and his return would bring more stability to the unit. Now, what about the opponent? The Cleveland Browns also released their injury report, and things are looking a bit more complicated for them. Wide receiver Amari Cooper, defensive end Miles Garrett, and tight end David Njoku were all upgraded to limited participation. However, key players like safeties Grant Del Pitt and Ronnie Hickman, along with cornerback Denzel Ward, still haven't practiced and remain questionable. If these players are unavailable, the Browns will have a tough time holding back the Eagles' powerful passing game. Additionally, starting center Ethan Posick also didn't practice, and there are several uncertainties along the Browns' offensive line, with Jack Conklin, Jedrick Wills, and Zach Zinter all being limited. The absence of any of these players could provide an extra edge for the Eagles' defensive line, which could exploit the gaps in protection to put pressure on the opposing quarterback. With so many players returning and the prospect of facing a weakened team, the Eagles are in a prime position to secure another victory this season. But as we all know, in football, everything can change in an instant. That's why it's crucial to keep an eye on Friday's final injury report to get a better sense of who will actually be available for the game. So, with the possibility of having all these players back and facing an opponent with so many question marks, do you think the Eagles will be able to set the tone from the get-go and secure an easy win? Or could the absence of Nakob Dean, even if he plays at a limited capacity, disrupt the defense? Share your thoughts in the comments and join the discussion. And if you want to stay one step ahead, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a like. That way, you'll be part of our exclusive community of fans and be the first to receive the latest and most exciting news about our beloved Eagles. Don't forget to share this video with other die-hard Eagles fans. See you all with the next update.